First, turn the machine on. Use the feed dog height gauge, which has A on one side of the gauge and B on the other side. Place the gauge with A facing up at the rear section of the feed dog. Then turn the hand wheel towards you by hand. If the feed dog is high enough, the feed dog will pull the gauge until it cannot grab the gauge anymore. This lets us know if the feed dog is high enough, but maybe they are too high. Now flip the gauge upside down so B faces up and place it on the rear section of the feed dog. Turn the hand wheel towards you. If it is too high, it will pull the gauge. An adjustment will be needed. Looking from the side of the machine, the feed dog should be 0.8 to 0.9 millimeters above the surface of the needle plate when in their highest position. The feed dog will be slightly lower in the front, which is normal for this machine. If an adjustment is needed, there is a large Phillips set screw that we need to loosen first. This is the locking set screw that holds the adjustment in place. Now with the machine on its back, you will see a small set screw with a lock nut immediately below the white feed lift cam. Do not loosen the lock nut. Turn the screw clockwise to raise the feed dog or counterclockwise to lower the feed dog. Again, do not loosen the lock nut. After making an adjustment, tighten the lock and set screw from the side of the machine. After the adjustment, place the machine upright and place the feed dog height with the gauge with the A facing up at the rear section of the feed dog. Turn the hand wheel towards you by hand. If the feed dog is high enough, the feed dog will pull the gauge until it cannot grab the gauge anymore. This lets us know if the feed dog is high enough, but maybe they are too high. So now flip the gauge upside down so B faces up and place it on the rear section of the feed dog. Turn the hand wheel towards you. If it is too high, it will pull the gauge and adjustment will be needed.